to find first derivative and second derivative for each of the following function. So a f x is equal to set x plus 1 over x square. So we know to do the to do differentiation. So here we need to bring the power forward. So first bring power forward and then we minus power with 1. So bring the power forward and minus the power with 1. So in order to do this, we need the power needs to be up. So in term of power. So here in A, we see here we have set, right? So to do this, it will be easier if we change this one to 1 over half. And this one, the power is down, right? So it, it is better to bring it up. So this one, x power, 1 over x power of 2 will become x power of negative 2. Now we can differentiate. So, first derivative. So when we differentiate this one, so we bring the power forward, right? When we have x, we know that this one is actually 1x. So we just bring, it will become half x. And then we minus the power with 1. So this one will be half minus 1. Okay, done with the first one. So plus... So for this one, we bring the power forward, negative 2, bring forward, you get negative 2. Or here you can directly put negative 2, it's also okay, but I just show you step by step. But you can directly go to negative 2, you can, if you can see that this one will become negative. So here is x, so negative 2 minus 1, you get negative 3. So this one is half x, half minus 1 is negative half, plus and positive, you get negative 2x negative 3. So in this case, we don't want the power to be negative because after we settle everything, we bring it down. So this one we get 1 over. So 2 is here, right? So x power of negative half, when we bring down, will become x half minus 2 over x cubed. So this one is power of half is actually 1 over 2 third x. This one is minus 2 over x cubed. So, this one is first derivative. But then, to do second derivative, like I told you before, so the power needs to be up. So, this one is the answer for this one. But then, to continue doing the second derivative, we are going to use this one because we can see the power. So, here, differentiate the first one. You see, the power is negative half, right? So, we bring forward. So, half, you see here, half, just write it, time negative half. Okay, so now we minus the power with 1. The power is negative half minus 1. Okay, done. So here you see a negative and negative will become positive. You can directly write. I just want to write negative here. So you see negative 3 times with 2, you get negative 6. Okay, now the power minus 1. So we have x negative 3 minus 1. So half times negative half, we get negative 1 over 4. So x negative half minus 1, we get negative 3 over 2. Negative and negative become positive. So 6, so here x negative 3 minus 1, you get x negative 4. So here we can bring the power down, the negative power down, so negative. So we see here this one is up. When it bring down, it will go beside uh, 4. So this one is x 3 over 2 plus 6 over x power of 4. So we know that the power over here is actually uh, root. Okay, so this one we get negative 1 over 4. This one would be, this one because over 2, so means set x cubed. Because we have 3, so here is plus 6 over x power of 4. So for B, so actually there is two way to settle this. Either you are using a uh, product rule or you can, you see here, you can uh, separate x4 and x2. So this one is x4 over x2 plus 2 over x2. So this one you get x square plus 2x negative 2. So you see here, so you can differentiate from this one directly like what I, uh, like what I did in a or you can directly use formula which is a product rule you can see uh, the previous example on how to use product rule but i love to use this one but 
I, I love to use this one more but it doesn't matter which way you want to use you will still get the same answer so this one for the first derivative so when you differentiate x square we bring 2 forward so 2x and then you minus the power with 1 you get x power of 1 or x okay so here you plus and then you bring the power forward negative 2 times 2 we get negative 4 so x negative 2 minus 1 you get negative 3 so 2x minus 4x negative 3 which is equal to 2x minus so you bring the power down so x 3 okay now we get this answer for the first derivative right but to find the second derivative you need to use this one because the power need to be up okay so here 2x when you differentiate 2x with only x only the number is left because why x is actually x power of 1 1 minus 1 is 0 and we know that anything power of 0 is equal to 1 so basically multiplying with 1 you will get that the constant back so this one is minus so now I differentiate this one so you have negative 3 right so negative 3 times 4 you get negative 12 or you can directly put plus here so this one is x so negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4 so this one is 2 plus 12 x negative 4 which is equal to 2 plus 12 over x power of 4 okay c of the c f x is equal to 2 x plus 5 divided by x minus 1 so we see here we have two equation here so uh, the, the way we can do is doing the quotient rule so this one is quotient rule so the formula of quotient rule dy over dx is equal to v du over dx minus u dv over dx divided by v square so you just find what we need to find from the formula and just substitute so we know up here is u and down here is v so we need to know what is v what is your u what is your du over dx and what is your dv over dx so here we see that u is 2x plus 5 so dv so dv so du over dx is equal to when you differentiate 2x you get 2 when you differentiate 5 you get 0 right so your v is x minus 1 so dv over dx is equal to 1 so this one is v so now you have u v dv over dx u d, du over dx and dv over dx you can substitute to get the uh, derivative so here just right here so dy over dx is equal to so your v is x minus 1 so your du over dx is 2 so here minus your u is 2x plus 5 your dv over dx whereas your dv over dx is 1 divided by v square so your v is x minus 1 square so here 2x so here just okay x times 2 is 2x negative times 2 is negative 2 so here is multiplying by 1 right so minus 2x here negative times 5 is minus 5 divided by x minus 1 square so here 2x positive and negative can be cut off so you have negative 2 negative 5 you get negative 7 x minus 1 square so this one is dy over dx so so this is the first derivative to find the second derivative there is two way also you can use this one just find v du over dx u and dv over dx from this one or you see here we see here this one is constant right so if this one is constant then we can bring the power up and do normal differentiation so here is negative 7 when we bring the power up x minus 1 negative 2 okay 
Now we differentiate normally. So to differentiate, okay, don't forget differentiate with power. Okay, so bring the power forward. Negative two times negative seven, we get negative fourteen. So we get fourteen, right? So this one, x minus two, x minus one. So now we minus the power with one. After that only we have to differentiate what is inside the bracket. So here fourteen x minus one negative two minus one is negative three. When we differentiate x, we get one. Differentiate this one, we get zero. So fourteen x minus one power negative three. So when we have the power is negative, we can bring it down. So it will become fourteen x minus one power three. So this one is it. 